I am currently cheating on, like, the things I need to work on. Like, I left my phone even in the other room because I need five minutes to talk to y'all. I'm Tree, and this is my new haircut, and this is Project Transparency. Okay, so last time we all talked, I proposed doing a video thing where I talked a little bit about what it's like being an artist and having chronic pain issues. And I've been having a really bad time of it for the last couple weeks. And it's like yesterday was a good day, today is a bad day. And you never know when that's going to happen. And it's really, really frustrating and difficult to plan around. So, being an artist. With chronic pain issues, I have fibromyalgia, so, you know, pain all the time. And I also have debilitating migraines, which is also fun. Which explains why some days I look way worse than others. And it's also really difficult when you have a tendency to be a person who bounces like I do. It's really hard. So, as an artist, what do you do? First things first is that you assess what your spoon situation is like. And spoons are just this metaphorical thing where to help people who do not have chronic pain issues understand what it's like. Like you have 10 spoons that represent what you can get done in a day. When you have chronic pain you, and you borrow spoons from other days, it causes badness. And some days you don't start with 10, some days you start with two. Some days you start at a deficit. Today started at a deficit. Step two, you try and keep your limbs and everything as warm as you can, and you take your drugs. Mind you, I don't necessarily react well to drugs, so I have a tendency to, you know, not always take things that I should probably be taking. Also, things that make you feel comfortable, like, you know, I drink a lot of hot tea because it not only ke keeps my hands warm, but it also has, you know, that kind of pacifying thing. Also, there's some chemical in tea that, you know, helps with anxiety and also, it's one of those things that when you have chronic pain disorders and things of that nature, your emotional well-being actually really affects your physical well-being. So if you're stressed out, like I am right now a lot and have been for a little bit, it aggravates everything. It's like having a sunburn and then rubbing sand on it. It just irritates it completely. Step three, you plan. I know I said that having these things doesn't really allow you to plan, but there is a certain amount of planning that can happen. It's because there are things that are going to aggravate things and you learn to recognize the signs like weather is going to make my migraines and my pain issues worse. If we're going to have a snowstorm, actually if the next state is going to have a really bad snowstorm, like the East Coast had a really bad one and like Illinois and Indiana and the southern part of Wisconsin had a really bad one, I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna know, I know I'm gonna hurt. And I can predict it a little bit out because it usually precedes things. Also, you know, if you know you're gonna be stressed, for some reason you can predict that. Also, if you have like long car, ri long car rides, like driving for more than like 45 minutes really bugs me. It makes me hurt really badly. It makes my hands hurt really badly. It, you know that this is going to happen. So, you know, you ha you can anticipate. You know that those are probably going to be days when you don't get a whole lot of art done. However, sometimes those days are days that you need to get art done. And that makes it even harder. Okay, so like... You guys know this from watching me do the time-lapse videos, that I have a tendency to want to work for... Okay, that wasn't smart of me to do. That arm hurts today. I like to work vertically. It's just easier for me most of the time, especially considering my height. I can actually creep up on things well. However, 
as is evidence today, when I'm having pain issues, it's difficult for me to work vertically, so I have to work horizontally. And that means creating spaces in which you can work horizontally, and it also means utilizing media that you can work horizontally. Also, you know, taking breaks. Taking breaks is really, really, really important, especially, you know, if your legs are the thing that hurts. My, my dad and I have actually talked about this because he broke his hip several years ago, so he's arthritic through there, that stools, like tall stools, like just that you kind of perch on sort of a little bit, are actually really, really helpful for when the pain is in your hips and your knees. I know it sounds strange, but it really is. It's like I have this great like office chair that that's the wrong height for me to sit in without shoes on, and I didn't know this because it's been in my studio at the art garage for like the duration I had it, and when I brought it home, because I don't wear shoes at home because I don't like shoes, I, I found out that it's actually a really like problematic height for me most of the time, especially when I hurt. It makes my rib cage hurt which I know makes no sense, but it does. So other things, um, because, you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I do paper making, I do spinning, I work with metal when I have money to buy torch fuel and, me and metal to hit. Um, you also have to plan around those incredibly, like, physical art processes that you that you utilize. And it's one of the nice things about paper making is that because it's so hydrophilic and it's warm, you end up being warm because of it. But other things are not so much because like metalworking is very percussive and it reverberates through your body no matter how well you do it. So there are days when that just doesn't happen, or if it needs to happen, it happens in very, very, very small increments. I know, it all it all comes down to increments and giving yourself time and taking breaks and keeping yourself warm. And it sounds kind of ridiculous, but a lot of times that's what it is. And you know, it's also accepting the fact that there are days when you just can't do anything. There are days when you just have to be wrapped up in your blanket fort and have the cat on your lap and have a cup of tea and accept the fact that today is not a day that things are going to get done. And those are the worst days because not only are you a failure in the eyes of society, but you feel like a failure to yourself. And the thing is, is that you're not. You made it through the day. You got up. You even if you didn't get out of bed, you still managed to make it to consciousness. Even if the only thing you did today was breathe, you have accomplished something. So being an artist, just being a person with chronic pain disorders is a job of work. And that's just, sometimes getting dressed in the morning is really, really, really hard. And taking a shower is really, really hard. So for the people who have other people in their lives who have pain disorders, be kind to them and understand that they hurt and some days they're not going to function. And for those of, us, for those of you who, like me, have chronic pain disorders, be kind to yourself. Okay, I'm going to go now that I've had this entire thing about what it's like to be an artist with a chronic pain disorder and go do other work. Okay, bye.